Well, hello there, and welcome to the next episode of Sister Cousins. Cha today, Lord, today. We're going to be discussing some juicy stuff. Now, let me give a disclaimer here. Sister Cousins channel, we are not a channel that talks about celebrities and their business, okay? But however, <laughs> the word of the day is entanglement, okay, people? <laughs> uh, let me tell y'all something. We have been trying to figure out what we're going to call this episode. I personally think it should be called Rumors, Force Facts, and Should We Mind Our Own Business, okay? So we're going to be talking about Miss Jada Pinkett Smith, Mr. Will Smith, that young tender thing they call August Alcina, Wendy Williams and her ex-husband and his girlfriend, Sharina Hudson. Child. And they baby. Don't forget they baby. Because, you know, Sharina had about, a baby. I don't talk about children. I'm, I'm leading to the grown people. So the children ain't got nothing to do with this. However, that's part of the problem for Miss Williams. So, ladies. Mm, mm, mm. I don't even know where to start. I just, I just don't even know. Okay, let's do this. Let's talk about uh, the queen of gossip herself, Miss Wendy Williams, okay? Let me say first, I love me some Wendy Williams, okay? With her shape like a letter P body. She always says it. I love <laughs> she said it. She says she is shaped like a capital P. I thought Don't that you know was what she Yes, I thought that was a cute, you know, because she got big boobs and she, you know, she, she real skinny, no shape. I almost look like myself, but I ain't got no boobs, so I don't know what I'm shaped. I guess I'm shaped like a letter I. You shaped but, like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you shaped like a little boy. It is what, this is, a, this is a, listen, I'm, a, I'm just going to move on. Uh, <sighs> Miss Williams. So I have always wondered, well, we've, okay, so we heard rumors about Wendy Williams' husband and this, uh, is she a massage therapist? Is that what her job is? Massage therapist? Um, Sharina Hudson. And, you know, Wendy always act like everything was cool. She ain't mentioned it. She ain't said nothing. You know, hot topics come up. I'm like, okay, today's the day. She gonna say something. She got to say something. Mm-mm. One day she came on, I know what y'all been hearing. I know what y'all heard. But everything is great in Hunterville. Okay, you can believe what you want, but Hunterville is cool. I said, oh, Wendy, I sure hope so for your sake, girl, because you was riding hard for this old cheat man over here. So then she had to come back. She had to eat that crow, honey, and tell the world, yes, it was true. My husband has been having an affair. Not just a regular, a whole 10-year affair with a woman did she, did she actually come out on her show and actually say that though i don't watch yes, Wendy Williams yes. personally, but i i don't remember them ever you know yeah. he did. Out there. so she came out on her show and said he had been yeah. because here's the thing so apparently they had this relationship and she knew about the relationship and she was not necessarily good with it but she wasn't tripping until old girl got pregnant you could deny whatever, but when that baby comes, that's a whole different story. Man, listen. And then she got mad because he bought her a brand new, what did he buy her? A Lamborghini, uh, 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 I guess he gave her a push gear. The, 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 the <laughs> he gave her a Name is Sharina. Sharina. And I don't know what it was. It was some expensive car. And Wendy got mad, girl, and she had the, uh, the repo people go pick that car up because that was so much. <laughs> That's gangster right there. That's go, gangster. Pick up, go pick up my stuff. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to put a disclaimer here. I don't... <laughs> I don't try to talk about nobody's marriage because people... Marriage is hard for one. There's a lot yes, of things that go on in a marriage that, you know, single people will never understand. <laughs> but with the Wendy Williams case, I mean, she got a, She had to know this was coming. This woman Come has attacked on, almost everybody that's even out there. <laughs> she has an opinion about everybody. She's always in other people's business. She was. She had to know that karma was gonna get her. <laughs> I she mean, we need to talk about her own mama for some ratings, okay? And I ain't even mad at her. You got to do what you got to do. But like you want to say, marriage is hard single people i'm single but i've been there i've been on there i've been in that institution one for me so but it is hard and 
there's the things that go on in the marriage that you be like, so am I going to let that slide and go ahead and keep my net worth? <laughs> or am I going to go hard on this one and go ahead and take him upside the head and I'm just going to do it by myself? Sometimes you make choices to stay in a situation because it's just more beneficial in the long run. You got to weigh those pros and cons. Now, Wendy Williams, on the other hand, Wendy Williams is talking about everybody from from Blue Ivy to Jesus, okay? <laughs> so it was, <laughs> it was coming her way. That her, and then it was crazy because everybody was talking about it and everybody was talking about her. And she just going on her show like, hey, hot topics. You know, like, ain't nothing going on. And then finally she had to be like, Yes, and so I'm gonna take some time because I have to deal with these things. And then you know she did the little fake tear thing. You know, Wendy good with the fake tears, girl. She be like that. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking about my Wendy. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm just in shock that she, to me, I think everything would have been cool. She she would have gained a lot of cool points putting it out there herself. Mm -hmm. Just boom on as soon as it came out, like y'all didn't know what this Negro done done. As hard as I work, I think if she would have, yeah. if she would have, she, she should have shocked everybody and made herself the hot topic and put it on out there. She would have scored a whole lot of points. Yeah. Now, she, 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 she went a different route. That, that's her business. So good. Uh, maybe we should mind our own business because it's a fair <laughs> job. You know, I'm just saying. However, in this divorce settlement that her and Kevin went through, I listen. He has been with her for the most part of her major career. She was started out in radio, so she was already popular in a name. Right. You know, However, once she got on TV, that's when the different money <laughs> started coming on in. So right. He right. There for that. So I think he deserved, you know, some of the things that he got. If it was a female, we won't have. So I, I ain't mad at what Kevin got. However, Kevin would have had to give me my money back for all he just spent on Sharina. Now that was not part of the deal. Sharina ain't had a goddamn thing to do with what we didn't build here together. So them houses and cars and gifts, I'm gonna need to collect that money back. Okay, so we're gonna subtract that for what you get out this divorce settlement. I, I don't know how that will work, but if that ever was happening to me, I'm fighting that to the end. You gonna give me my money back, sucker. <laughs> you want it all just, back, huh? <laughs> I want all of that. Back. I just, I just, I mean, <laughs> he was just extra dirty to me. And it was like, yeah, Wendy was gully. Wendy had done did some people wrong. I mean, she talked about my boo, Whitney Houston, now. You know, Whitney was my boo. But now, Whitney, Whitney had to be talking about now. Whitney out there bad, okay? Let me tell you one of the things that Wendy did that I liked <laughs> when she got separated from her husband. How she locked him out of her studio and wouldn't let him come in. The studio wouldn't let him do nothing, told people to stop answering his calls and stuff like that. I love that because, yeah, he done worked with her and for her and helped her build her business all these years and her brand. But at the end of the day, it was still her brand. That's like when Ike, when Tina got divorced from Ike and she told the judge she he can have it all. She just wanted to keep her name. That's what I'm talking about right now. Now, Wendy wanted it all and her name. She okay. should have got, got it all. <laughs> Old, dusty, broke, dangling bastard. He should have kept his dangling in his hand. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, let's just, let me just talk about some stuff he got. Okay. So <laughs> they get to split the home that they own, that they lived in together in New Jersey. They, he get half of that. He gets to keep the Ferrari and a Rolls Royce. Mm. But he had to sell all his shares in, in Wendy Williams production. So she's the sole owner. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty classy. Cause now for me, I would have been fighting for that. Cause that's where the money gonna keep coming in at. I, mm. you can I can buy another Rolls Royce and another Ferrari and another house, but the Wendy Williams brand is what it is. That's what's gonna keep the money coming. He was stupid for that. You dumb, Kevin, for that. You should have got them. She kept it. <laughs> um, but from the business, he got paid a, a uh, he gets a lump sum and he got paid a severance. Like so, he was like a real employee. So I just thought I was like, wow, that was just kind of interesting to me. Wendy gets to keep a Florida home that they own, and Kevin gets to keep another home that they own in New Jersey. I'm thinking that's the one that Sharina living in, or he bought for her, or whatever. But but here's my thing. Okay, so this is my question. And I don't know what's going on with Serena, Sharina, whatever her name is. Home record. We're going to call her home record. I don't know what's going on with home record and Kevin. But this is my thing. If he cheated with you, 
now your well, now your your position is open. If you go ahead and be the full time girl, your position open. So now you done took Wendy place. Your position open. Somebody gonna slide right on in there and get that little money you thought you was gonna get from that settlement. <laughs> so here's my thing: when people cheat with a, <laughs> a, a famous person or a rich person, what is it that's keeping them from just spilling the beans? Because if it's some high profile person, they can probably make more money telling their story to different outlets than they're making within a relationship. So what is it that keeps them from actually spilling beans is what I really want to know. Because, you know, I still want to know what was going on in that elevator with the with, 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 uh, <laughs> with the cars and, and, and Ms. Knowles. I'm still trying to figure that out. I want to know who Becky is. I still want to know who Becky is. <laughs> Becky's a bad girl. Jay Z say, "Leave me alone, Becky." Because if you get to me, it's like you keep coming. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm weak. Go on about your business. <laughs> just leave me alone, okay? Mm -hmm. I still want to know who Becky is. They yeah, never tell it. Anyhow. I think, I think the reason why, like the person who either has been cheated on or the cheater didn't don't spill the beans or whatever the the indiscretion is in the relationship is because once you tell it, you open yourself up to more scrutiny. Okay, let's move on to the Smiths. Ms. Oh. Red Tits, oh, the Smiths. Jada Pinkett, Smith, Will Smith, okay, and they, and they, uh, they, uh, Entanglement. Adopt son. <laughs> August Alcina. Okay, I am not mad, okay, at a younger woman, an older woman, younger man relationship, but vice versa, you know, whatever. My husband's four years older than me, okay. However, the question that I have is how do you go from helping a sick, wounded puppy, you know, to rock and roll? I just don't get it. I don't, I don't <laughs> get how to turn into nurture, how you turn into a mama slash, you know, girlfriend. Sad me. I, I just, I don't get, I don't understand, Miss Jada. I don't get it. This young man was wounded. He needed your help. Your son, that's a few years younger than him, brought this young man home. Mama, my friend, he needs some help. Can you help him? They say that Jada is a fixer. She's a nurturer. She, she thrives off of helping people. This is who she is, which is why they say, I don't know this to be true, allegedly, okay? This is why her and Will, you know, ain't the regular normal uh, married couples because Will don't need any fixing. She don't have to help him. She needs folks that she got to help. Her kids jacked up as hell. She can help them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying that. I, <laughs> I, I'm not buying that. I, there's several think? things. I'll put it this way. Let me give, give, give my disclaimer. I'm the one who actually came up with this topic only because <laughs> I was on Facebook. I was just checking some Facebook and it was blowing up. I kept seeing story after story. And I'm like, what is everybody talking about? Why is this an issue? Why is this all over my timeline? Why is this even new? So I was curious to find out what the big deal was. So I, um, I, have never seen the Red Table Talk show before. I have seen the advertisement for it on Facebook, but I've never actually watched an episode before. I have never even heard of this guy, August. I've never heard of him before. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about him, what kind of music he sings, who he is, never even seen his face before. So I have no knowledge of him whatsoever. <laughs> Apparently, so, he's not uh, <laughs> So I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking that the first thing in my mind is like, what in the world? I don't care. I don't care if the world had evidence that this happened with me and my husband. There is no way in God's given earth I'm getting on national TV <laughs> to talk about something as personal as this for the whole world to pick and tear apart and to make memes and to have me all over twitter i'm thinking what in the world would possess somebody to do this like i don't care what i don't care if she's a talk show host i don't care if this is what she does for a living i don't care if, if i don't care i'm not talking i'm not putting my my husband out my family out like that in this particular case <laughs> so i didn't understand that for one um 
Another thing is, is that, you know, when she talked about how the relationship started, this was her son's friend. <laughs> how in the world? <laughs> And, 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 and the only thing that I can think of is that you had two broken people looking for yeah. something. And that was a disaster from the start. So moving over to Will, how in the world are you going to let some <laughs> young man have this type of relationship with your wife? Let's yeah. like me bringing in a babysitter who, you know, 20 years old, got the body banging and i'm okay no <laughs> no not that i think that my husband would ever do that but why would i even put him in a situation where something like that could possibly happen I'm just well, let me say was... it don't matter what they look like because look at look at arnold schwarzenegger and his maid uh. <laughs> i'm just saying it was just so many open <laughs> doors in this situation and to see you know I, I don't know. I didn't understand the whole thing. I didn't understand why they were having this talk show. I didn't understand why. <laughs> why now? It, it was just so many questions I had afterwards. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay. So, Juana, you said something. Two broken people were looking for something. Okay. So, let's, 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 let's dwell on that. Okay. Two broken people. You got Jada Pinkett Smith, who is basically a very popular celebrity, and she's married to Will Smith, uh, action, suit, you know, monies, all that. We look at these celebrities as if they are above reproach and their life has to be so amazing and so great. But this whole situation, two broken people looking for something. Obviously, there's something broken within her or within her life that has her searching for something else. <laughs> you know, we, we look at these celebrities and you always see pictures on social media of, People posting pictures of celebrities and their hashtag is uh, relationship goals. But why are those your goals? Because obviously some of these relationships have some issues that we have no clue about. And then this young man who was supposed to be her son's friend that she felt she could save him and she recognized some of her own childhood traumas within him. Honey, you on the red table talk trying to tell people how to live their life. You ain't addressing the, the, the childhood traumas yet. You in your 40s. I'm going to need you to go ahead and see that. Therapy. Okay? All right. So, well, these two broken people, <laughs> she tried to save him. And so, girl, save yourself. I didn't have time for that. That boy was 23 years old. So, basically, you a cougar and wheel too old for you now. And you know what I'm saying? She ain't been right since Kane got shot in Minister Society. <laughs> <laughs> Jada is 21 years old <laughs> in August. Listen, think about this though. Okay, Will and Jada were both very adamant in making sure that we knew that they were separated or they weren't together or they were calling it quits. Okay. Like the Wayne Wade break baby. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, gotta talk about that. Number one. <clears throat> We don't know what the pro we don't know what that issue was. Why were they separated? It was Will cheating? Was Jada cheating? Because Jada said on one of her red table talks that she had a sex addiction back in the day. So did that creep on back into the scene? Was Will messing with these extra? They now listen. I love me some Will Smith, Fresh Prince, Summertime. I love Will. Okay. However, I always think that there is some. There's a story behind every rumor. We can't say truth. There's a story behind every rumor. Will Smith got girlfriends. He got boyfriends. He buying houses. Girl, for girl what? But he allegedly, buying houses. Allegedly. allegedly. Okay, so I'm going to need you to get yourself together. I'm just, saying what, I'm just saying what the streets are saying, what the blogs, the peoples are saying, okay? Mm -hmm. for years, Will and Jada have been alleged uh, swingers. Joanna made a point where how did Will Smith allow? Well, first of all, Jada said, can't nobody allow nothing over here but me. Okay, so Will can't allow anything that Jada does to go on. However, I understand what she's trying to say. You bring if this young man has is, is coming to the Will, the, the, the Smith family as a friend of their son. I mean, I, I imagine all the celebrity kids or whatever is in and out of their house and they sitting around in their big fabulous kitchen. They got chefs and maids and everybody making cereal and French toast and all that kind of stuff. 
So it probably wasn't a thing at first. But if you look over the internet, honey, Jada and, and, and August got a whole bunch of sexy little cuddled up, you know, kissy faces pictures together. I mean, they look real comfortable. I'm finna Google it. Google it, honey. There's a whole lot of them. I, we don't know what happened between Will and Jada, why they were on the brinks, okay, why they decided that they was going to call it quits. But on this red table talk, when Will brought Jada to the table, he told her, I'm going to get you back. And she said, <laughs> brother, I think you already got me back. So it's been some back and forth going on. So August happened to be the one to bring Jada's business to the forefront. Now, I'm just waiting. I give it about another good month. Somebody gonna tell Will's business. We gonna know a little bit more than what's going on with this story. All I'm saying is, is that we don't really know what goes on in these in these people's lives. I think that the public we command too much of their life. You know, as a celebrity, because you're a celebrity, it doesn't give us a right to be in a person's personal business. We like them for their celebrity. We, if, if they weren't a celebrity, we wouldn't know anything about their personal business. I don't know. Like I say, we, I think that we as the general public, we, ex, we expect to know too much about these celebrity lives. We, we should only, in my personal opinion, I think we should mind our business. Okay. Should we mind our business? Absolutely. We should only be concerned with their celebrity, their movies, their films, or, you know, their music or whatever. Um, I don't think that a celebrity owes the public their personal business. However, there is one person, one situation rather, Queen B. I love me some Beyonce. That's my girl. Y'all know I love her 50 grand and all. Uh -huh. However, I remember when she was single. I can't find a boyfriend. She all on radio shows. I need a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I can't find nobody. <laughs> when she got with Jay-Z, like, no, 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 be calm, give us the scoop, you know what I'm saying, you want to be quiet about it, but when you was, when you was single, you want, you was begging for attention, but now you don't want to tell us it's business, I say that, uh, it's hard, I, I, I assume it's hard living as a celebrity, because everything you do is scrutinized, everybody has something to say about what you do, no matter what it is, you could be doing something positive, you could be donating a million dollars, or that ain't enough, you worth 50, you should be giving 10, or, you know, you should be doing this or you should be doing that. It's always, somebody always has an opinion about what somebody should be doing. I personally think that as the public, we need to mind our business when it comes to these celebrities and their personal lives. Let them live and do their thing. As long as they're giving us good content, good films, good music, that's all we should be concerned about. Okay. <laughs> so the problem with, I, I get what you're saying. We should be concerned about their personal lives, but they always want to present themselves as I'm just like you. I'm just like you. And when you get yourself into a position of celebrity, you open yourself up to the scrutiny that is you your You ain't telling personal. all your business. What, what you said now? You ain't telling all your business on, uh, uh, on a red table or a sister cut. You ain't telling all your business. I ain't no celebrity, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I know I am in your mind. But not in the rest of the world. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, they open themselves up to that, and that's a part of the job. And I think they understand that. I think it can be frustrating for them as a whole. But you know, Jada didn't have to address this. She could have kept it with the silence and talk. We could have just said, um, what that boy name with the pink hair? What was his name? August was crazy because he looked a little special. <laughs> boy hair was pink, orange, and uh, red. Why? Why you got three different colors? Like, your, your stylist don't know how to color your hair? But anyway, so we, we could have just thought he was crazy. What but, kind of weird did you call him? What kind of weird? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, don't, girl, don't talk about her on live TV. You, you, said, you said it. Girl, she might put a root on you now. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you stupid. She look like she can put a root on you. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> So they didn't have to address it, but they did. And that's fine. I don't know. I guess I always wonder, like, what? <laughs> I wonder if they felt pressure, you know, to come out at some point. Because you do have celebrities that don't talk about their marriage. Um, 
and I respect Denzel. that. And you, and you have some that just that's just Ooh. they're never going to talk about what goes goes on in their marriage and, and that's fine with them but i wonder if this particular couple if they felt like they had to like you know we're gonna have to say something and they kind of touched on that a little bit in the video um but i don't know i guess i have a different perspective because i'll be honest i don't all this stuff that y'all talk about the rumor has it i ain't heard none of that <laughs> I don't well, you know you I, always been a little secluded because I don't I look I got I got so much so many issues in my own life trying to worry about I don't have time to be involved in what celebrities do. Ain't none of them paying no bills, ain't none of them doing nothing for me. <laughs> so I don't I don't I guess I don't spend a lot of time looking at what's going on. So I'm hearing like yeah. a whole bunch of new stuff I ain't never heard before about people. But my, all I, I know the, is that for the rest of the year, we should use the word entanglement in <laughs> some way, shape, form, or fashion at least once a day. Just now like let's talk any, about that word entanglement <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> so as I'm watching this and she says this word, I'm thinking she still ain't healed from it. If you can't even admit. <laughs> Yes, thank that you. That you actually had a relationship with this person. You ain't over and it. It. Took, it took her husband to say, no, Jada, you were in <laughs> you a, a relationship. relationship with August. There wasn't no damn entanglement. You ain't trip over some ropes and get lost, baby. You was in a full-fledged relationship. <laughs> let, let me read the definition. The act of entangling, the state of being entangled, Something that entangles a snare, involvement, or complication. I think she meant complication. I think that's what, what that she girl, meant. It wasn't no complication when she was at August. So listen, <laughs> they just nasty. It wasn't no entanglement. And like Juana said, she has not healed. I think she might need to get a little therapy too behind this. Because again, every situation, relationship, entanglement, whatever you want to call it, leave some type of imprint on you on your life and how you interact with others in every different facet of your life and until you completely heal from it enough where you can release it you might find yourself in another damn entanglement listen i don't know about y'all but i've been in a whole lot of entanglements in my life i, I ain't be been like entangled that. i yes ain't you been have no no nah, nah, baby I, I've listen been, i'm yeah. like that uh you know how like when people get married, they put them little ribbons or strings or that, that <laughs> can on the back of the car. I'm that can <laughs> with my entanglements or whatever. Listen, <laughs> to answer that question, I do think that they had to say something because um, I, I watched a series of, um, I've seen Red Table Talk once or twice or three times maybe, but I'm, that's not a regular that I watch. But when this all came out and we decided to do this episode about it, I watched several of them and there was one episode where Jada was recording. She wasn't at the red table. She was in the house. And so she walked up to Will and kind of like put the camera in his face. And he was like, look, uh, don't just be walking up to me, asking me no questions because social media is my bread and butter. Okay. Like this is what I do. You ain't ask me, we ain't get, we ain't signed no deal for you to be walking up to me, asking me no questions. And I think that all of that, it makes a difference. Will, let's, let's be clear. Jada is a star in her own right. Will Smith is the breadwinner. He is the man, okay? He is the relationship, okay? I think that Will, they came together and say, okay, this boy to put this information out here. We got to say something. Because if you if you deny it, you're going to send this boy to a frenzy, okay? He already, he already, uh, he ain't healed from this totally. So unless you came out right and lied about like no this did not happen this boy is deranged and crazy you would have to come up with a whole new storyline so you they had to say something he he put this out here jade and i had a relationship and, and will gave me permission i was like what you have to say something they cleared it up first of all they both said okay nobody said we will did not give him permission and jada said can nobody get permission to be entangled with me except myself so they had to say something, whether it was for their brand, the Smith brand, the Will Smith. Will Smith is making children's movies. He's involved, you know, younger people. They had to protect the brand. This is why they're in a life partnership. They're, long, they're not married. They're in a life partnership. You live on the East Wing. I'm going to live on the West Wing. And no matter what goes down, we're going to stay together. 
forever. I need me a life I partner. I need a life partner right now. Well, do I oh, sign up for that? But you don't need no life partner. partner. <laughs> Y'all don't want me to have no life partner. You don't need that kind of life partner. Would you? Mm-hmm. Here's what. The, so the thing that I was thinking about. Um, you know, Will and Jada, they grown, they're gonna do what they want to do. Their children are grown as well. But how has this affected their children? I was seeing something that talked about, I guess they had their kids on there, and like their son, who's only 20 something years old, moved out of the house when he was like 15. I just saw that one, yeah. And y'all was okay with that? So I just saw that. I just looked at that episode today, actually, when I was getting ready for the podcast um so the the, so that episode was about it was jada her mom and the two kids will and willow from uh jaden and willow and jada told the audience that she had told will that we'll be lucky if this young man stays in the house until he's 16. jada's mom said that that they raised will and jada raised their children different than she raised jada children jada's children have choices in their life and how they would and, you know she asked them cho- they gave them choices when we growing up what your mama said because i said so get your so and so and so and so because i said so guess what guess who mama still said guess what mama still say that you okay <laughs> good good I, I'll tell you what your choices are. These are your choices right here that I gave but you. <laughs> their parenting style was we want our children to take control of their life as young people so they don't have to worry about that when they become if 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 young people make mistakes now, these are not the mistakes that they make as adults. They thought or they feel wow. that the mistakes that people are making as young adults, they should have learned those lessons previous or whatever Mm. to each his own okay um but because of how they raised him i mean i was he he was making his own money he was in movies and music and all that so he he could literally take care of himself however i don't know if i would be okay with my child at the age of 15 moving out um and i and i think i raised my child differently than um the smiths raised their kids i i, I don't know if it was maybe it was because I, I, I said so type of mentality i ain't really mean it was, it. It was. <laughs> i ain't really mean it to me yeah but that may have been what it was and that's because that's what i knew um however there were certain things that i did do in certain areas that i did do differently than how i was raised but you know that's hollywood in hollywood you're raising this certain bubble okay you know, all these celebrity kids are hanging out with one another and, and doing different things. So their world is totally different than our world. So I'm not saying that I agree with, you know, what the Smiths allowed their their son to do, but I, I can't knock it. it. It appears that it worked out okay. Now, in, he, in your eyes, he may be weird or different or whatever. However, that's just who he is. So, um, but I do think, Joanna, to answer your question, yes, they had to to protect the brand. You know, when you're a celebrity, there's a brand. Could Will survive without being married to Jada? Eh, probably, but Jada knows some things that the public or those people paying Will would not, that, that she couldn't tell it. If, if she told it, it wouldn't be any more Will Smith. Could Jada I survive? Agree. I think it still would be some, some Will Smith, even if she told all his little dusty little secrets. Because you know, not be telling what those secrets are. Listen, all of them nasty now, so it don't matter. <laughs> so, I guess my opinion is that I cannot wrap my brain around a brand being more important than, than a my, marriage. My marriage. Or, I can't wrap my mind around that. Um, and and I understand it's different, and maybe that's why I'm not into the whole tracking celebrities and looking <laughs> at their life and doing all that because because they my my ma- we are not celebrities and our marriage you know can be hard at times. There's a lot of things that come up. There's a lot of attack against your marriage. I mean, just as a a non celebrity, so I can't even imagine the pressure you would have as a celebrity with people, you know, constantly looking at you and you being constantly being in the spotlight. Um, 
I, I don't know. It just say it just seems to be a whole different world in Hollywood. <laughs> mm-hmm. A whole different world, whole different rules. Um, things that I can't wrap my mind. At. There's no way in God's green earth I'm letting my 15 year old move out at night. He might get put out. <laughs> <laughs> but he ain't moving out. But my fifteen year old gonna get put out. So my that that that's a difference. And to me, it's like this the whole concept that Hollywood has about marriage is frightening to me. It's like I don't care if you're separated. It's not scripture. Still married. <laughs> Look, okay, so let still me ask married? you this. Let me let me ask you this because and and maybe do you think okay so we believe you know to death do you part does it you work through your issues however in hollywood or in these celebrity or financially stable marriages those people both partners have the resources to leave so maybe can it be that you know what the stuff that we will put up with because maybe we just don't have those resources they like not me nah, man. I ain't dealing with this shit. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So if me and you going at it for the last five years, we gonna we gonna try to work through it because you know I took vows. That's my husband. You know, and we we entangled. But uh, if I had the resources, peace. You know, and so I think that is one of the differences between non-celebrity, regular everyday people. Not as many resources, <laughs> marriages, as opposed to these celebrity marriages. Like, I ain't really got to do this because I got my own. I'm out. So let I'm me ask you this. this. When you say resources, do you mean, okay, maybe a stay-at-home wife who raised, who raised and four kids and you've never had a job? Maybe you can stay. You, you've never had a job or say, for instance, you're, though you have access to the finances, these are all the finances that your husband has accumulated and his name is first on everything, whereas opposed to some people are, um, not, even if you do work outside of the home and you have some funds set up, you know, going from being married and having a, a spouse and raising children to not having a spouse and that extra income and still having to raise children and being concerned about living, things like that, your resources are a little different. And sometimes you stay in places that were long past their expiration date due to the fact that you may not have those resources. Whereas people like Will and Jada, if they decided, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing this no more. I got resources. I'm out. I see what you're saying, but from a personal standpoint, I've always been a super independent person, which is probably a, a fault of mine in marriage. Let me tell you something. My credit score is 835, okay? I, I didn't co-own two houses as vehicles. Peace and hair grease on that ass, okay? I'm not saying that I, there's things I'm not going to put up with, but it ain't because there's no resources because this one over here paying the, the mortgage or whatever. I can pay my own mortgage if I had to. However, but that's you. I that that ain't the case was, always. Maybe not, but your generalization of it, I understand that maybe that, that's what I'm saying. You you is if it's a, a wife who you know you, you don't work, haven't worked in years, maybe before you met your husband and you got four kids, you've been at home. Maybe her situation is a little different and she might stay. Well, However, no, my, you my can have that my you can have that is more toward my generalization is more toward how Juana said. You know, these celebrity marriages, I don't understand them because it's like they don't really put in as much effort. Because why? If the red flags are there, I'm not saying I'm out. Whereas some people may push through some red flags because they don't have those resources. But, see, but that was the opposite of what I said. Jada and Will, of course, they can. Jada can live on her own just fine for a long time because she rich as heck too. However, together, Beyonce and Jay-Z, they each worth a billion dollars, but together they worth two. Beyonce didn't didn't have to stay with Jay-Z, but that coin kept to there. They made a whole video about it, a whole song. What's better than one billion? Two. So whether you rich or not rich, people are standing together for the coin. I'm just saying that, yes, that could be the case for some people, but it doesn't matter whether you're celebrity or not, because as a celebrity, you if if that coin is because of Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z was making it by himself before Beyonce and vice versa. 
but together they are a whole brand making a whole lot more money. Somebody like little old me, you know, I mean, we're we going to split our house. You take this car, take that car, then we out. I mean, that, that ain't that ain't really nothing. I think that the celebrities don't have, I can't tell you what they don't have. In my mind, for me, it's more of the actual vows, the actual um, spiritual part of it. You know, I made a, a commitment to God through, for better or for worse. And honey, let me tell you something. I've been married, it'd be 20 years this year. Marriage is not easy. I don't care how this person is. Marriage is hard. When you got one child, no child, 15 kids, it's hard. It's hard. And I'm like, Juana, I'm not about to be putting all my business out there. Now, I'm, t I'm, I'm typically an open book type of person. Anybody that's close to me, you know, you guys or, you know, my best friends or whatever, <clears throat> I, I'm pretty open with myself. But I'm not about to be putting my uh, personal business out here to the world talking about, yeah, I had an entanglement with uh, August Alcina. I'm just not about to do that. Let August do his thing. Me and Will, we ain't going to say nothing. Well, Jada, uh, we want to know, did, uh, August Alcina said you guys had a relationship. Did we? Is that what he said? Oh, okay. All I know is me and him over here, me and Will, we together. We life partners. I don't know nothing about that over there. That's just what I would have personally did, but that's just me. So, I don't know. Juju, is that what you're saying you would have done? I don't think I would have addressed it at all. Mm, I, I, wouldn't let it, release, let it I wouldn't have released, I wouldn't release, I wouldn't even release. I would like to think I would not have released any statement. And the reason why I say that is because everybody can say what they'll do until you actually get into the situation you don't know how you would act or how you respond and i'm a firm believer there's always three sides to every story his hers and the truth so we don't really know what happened <laughs> the total truth. Um, i'm a firm believer that love is a choice i choose every day to wake up and to love my husband even when i don't want to necessarily you know <laughs> i choose to love people who are mean to me and people who have done things to me who have hurt me i choose uh -huh. to forgive and i choose to love each and every day and um, I just personally think a lot of that is missing in Hollywood. And maybe that's why I'm not interested in looking at that kind of love because it's not real. Mm -hmm. it, 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 to me, it can't stand the test of time because it doesn't have a firm foundation. And therefore, I'm, I don't want to entertain something that's not real. <laughs> right. So that's just my personal opinion. So at the end of all of this, my vote is we should mind our business. What do you think, Joanna? Mind your business. <laughs> My vote is stop telling your business. <laughs> and we won't and we won't mind your <laughs> business. <laughs> but as long as you keep telling your business, I'ma mind it. Well, listen, I will so we're gonna wrap this up. I would like to say that I really hope that um the Smith's marriage um could last outlast this thing we don't know what went on in their personal um relationship with one another um as a married person i do know that you go through ups and downs and you don't love you don't like your partner every day and sometimes you feel like i don't even think i love this fool no more i'm sick of this foolishness um marriage is hard but you made that commitment um you know to love each other for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. I think they need to start adding that. If this fool cheat on you, what you gonna do, okay? <laughs> if you get entangled, what you gonna do with some extra marital affairs? Um, but I really do hope that the Smiths can, um, their marriage can survive this entanglement scandal. Um, you know, we're not walking or living, walking in your shoes or living in your house. And, um, you know, we, we need black love, you know, to stay, you know, tight. You know, it, it's, it's too much out here against black people as it is. And the marriage, um, marriages amongst black people are super important. It's important for people to see that, that people can survive and make it through anything. I will say that if you always keep God first, then, you know, I think you can overcome anything. So uh, best of luck to the Smiths. I'm sorry that Miss Wendy Williams had to uh, disentangle herself from her husband. I wish him and Serena the best with their little baby. I hope Wendy Williams keep making that Skrilla. 
I got an alibi. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate my cousin's perspective, both of their perspectives on the importance of working through your marriage and making your marriage work and loving someone on days when you do not even like them. Mm. However, I need both men and women to make a choice to love yourself enough that if you choose love and you choose happy and the person that you're choosing love and happiness with is not choosing it with you, it's okay to walk away. Don't stay somewhere where the love is not being given and the happiness is not being returned. You have to make a choice. Just like Joanna said, she chooses to wake up every day and love her husband even when she don't like him. I'm gonna need you to choose to wake up every day and love yourself enough to know when the expiration date has come and gone and you need to go ahead and pour that milk out and move on with your life. Okay. That is a good top. That is a really, that, listen, that right there is a word. That might be a whole other topic because I would, I would counter that with, that ain't what you said, but when your vows, I was there. Okay. I'm not, I, listen, I'm not I saying, I, listen, listen, I'm not saying what you're saying is not right. Okay. I'm not saying that that's not right for you. However, you made a vow. You, you said some very specific words to the Lord. God, the Lord takes your covenants very serious. Okay. I'm not saying that what you did, what you did in your marriage was not the best for you. I'm not saying that. I, that's what you feel that you needed to do between you and the Lord. However, people, before you marry, you need to think about all the bad, the worst. This man stopped loving. This man stopped this. This woman stopped this. This woman Nobody stopped Nobody gets married to get divorced. I can guarantee you that. I Nobody gets married But you made a vow. Divorced. But you, all, you, you did make a vow. But do you stay in a place where you can be hurt, where you can be harmed, all because you took a vow? You had a whole contract. You just read a whole contract about what... Your contract, baby, is different hey, than what you did. I can't be the only person that upholds the contract. I can't be the only person that upholds the vows. It's two people in a marriage. Everybody got to participate. If it's only one damn participant, it ain't going to work. No matter what value you took in front of God, man, the dog, the puppy. If it ain't there, everybody got to participate, partner. So again, I will strongly advocate for choosing happy and choosing love for yourself. Because if you do not love yourself, what you present to yourself or what you project out to the world is how people will treat you. And if you project that you don't love yourself, they will not love you in return and they will treat you like a scum between their toes, just like our pastor told Darla in that movie. I have to go. My, my opinion about, about marriage in general, and I'm just speaking about myself, is that the missing component is, is God in it. The missing component is God. Um, even for myself, when I first got married, you know, you have all these, you know, plans, ideals, what life is going to look like and what it's going to be like and how this person get, is going to act this way and do this towards you and all these, all these preconceived ideals. <laughs> but the one thing that I found out, especially when I first got married, is that I am a selfish individual <laughs> and God had to deal with me. <laughs> And get that mess out before I could even even know how to love my husband. And I thought I had it all together. And then I got married, and I was like, "Oh my! I didn't. I didn't even know who I was because that man brought out the like the worst in me. And it wasn't him. And it's because I wanted to have my own way. I wanted to do my own thing. I didn't want to be questioned about anything. I wanted to run and rule and do all these things. I didn't want him to take the lead of the house. I had all these, you know, things." that I wanted to do, but it's no longer I, it's we. And if you don't have God as the foundation, and then if both of y'all don't have him as the foundation, it can't last. Mm -hmm. And that's true. So if only one person, or, you know, you have your unequally old, what, yo, what, what's the word, yo, that's right. But you also say, yeah. so you found out, you say you found out that you were selfish and you didn't allow him to leave. But if the man you marry didn't allow him, I didn't want him to leave. You didn't want him to leave. But what if the man you marry is not capable of leaving? So you have all different components that, again, when you love somebody, oh my God, you love their dirty drawers, their crusty teeth, they smoke breath and coffee breath, all that. You love them. 
but sometimes love is not enough. Yeah, but the, all those things you just named and stuff, you should have figured out before you said, I do. And you think, and, and trust me, most people think they have that figured out before they say, I do. When I tell you nobody gets married to get divorced, nobody gets married to get divorced. There, there may be some people who are very fascinated about the day and they, they plan this huge big event because of the day is so important, but the day doesn't matter. It's the rest of your life that matters. The ring doesn't matter. It's the rest of your life that matters. Nobody, at least for me, I can only speak for me and people that I've talked to, gets married to get divorced. But again, when love is no longer being served at that table, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter what avenue you take to try to save it, sometimes things just fall apart. And it's okay if they fall apart. And it's okay if it doesn't last. It makes you no less of a person. It makes the person that you were with no less of a person. And it doesn't make the marriage necessarily, to me, a failure. It just meant that one person woke up one day and it wasn't enough no more. Some people uh, see divorce. I'm sorry. I don't agree that divorce is a failure. I agree that two people made it. Not everybody has a, a miserable, horrible divorce where they hate each other. I hate you. I hope you walk out and play in traffic during rush hour. Some people agree, uh, mutually agree that this ain't going to work no more. It failed. It don't matter how, it don't matter how agreeable you are. The marriage failed. If it didn't work, that means it failed. We'll have to agree to disagree on that, cousin. I think it's just say I'm not disputing that or anything. Cause just say marriage is hard. There's a lot of thing that goes on. There's a lot of you know factors that are involved in it. Um, but I still go back when even you know when I've had hard times in my marriage, I have to go back and see is God still the foundation? So I think if you know if He is, then. God will lead you and, and, you know, tell you what you need to do and how you need to handle certain things. Mm -hmm. um, but most of us, if he did tell you to stay in a marriage that, that didn't make you happy, would you stay? And I think that's the, that's the thing with it. When, if God is going to be the foundation, then you can't just do things that make you feel better. You have to do things that he tells you to do. And sometimes he requires you. And I'm not saying he does everybody. I'm just speaking for me personally. Sometimes he requires you to do things that you necessarily would not want to do, that you don't want to do. And I think that there's a reason for that because marriage is not just about a marriage. It's a ministry. It's a ministry to the world. <laughs> you know, it's a ministry about how his love is reflecting upon the people that are on the earth. So it's going to require um, you to do things and come out of your comfort zone and do things that you typically wouldn't do on your, in your own strength. So I don't just say, I don't, I don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in. I think that's personal. I think you need to see God's face and, and, you know, do what's right for you and your family. I don't down anybody who has had a divorce because I don't know any happy divorces that have been had. I mean, it is really a breaking away of a covenant. Um, and it can be detrimental for people. So, you know, my heart goes out to them. But do I understand it? Yes, I understand it. It's hard to try to keep two <laughs> individuals. Yeah. To, it's hard trying to be one. I will put that, you know, put it that way. It's hard trying to constantly be one with someone because, you know, things change. People grow. People do different things. It's just, it's so many factors that play into that. Yeah. Would so you like when you're like, 20, you, really, you don't like in your 40s? Which right. Is I mean, there are certain things that I went, you know, when I first got married that I did, like, I would never even think about, you know. <laughs> doing now it's like we have grown we have evolved we are different people he's not the same person that i married 10 years you know 11 years ago i'm not the same person that you know he married 11 years ago but some way we have to come together and still try to be one we have to respect you know the growth that we've had the people that we've become now we have to learn how to accept that we have to learn how to support that um, and it can be difficult at times so that my whole point to say marriage is hard it ain't for the weak at heart especially if you're trying to stay together <laughs> it is it, it, it's, it's a hard thing do y'all think that um staying in a relationship is easier or harder than leaving the relationship which one is easier for you guys do, do you think it's the easiest for me 
it's leaving. Leaving, leaving is easy easier. for me. It's easier for me because in my own strength, I, I feel like I could pick right back up. <laughs> you know? I can, you know, I can take care of myself financially. I can find out. I, <laughs> I believe I could do it. Find your so, new but, but harder, <laughs> it's Let's harder for me to stay and make it work and say, you know what, we're going to sit down and we're going to figure this thing out because my flesh doesn't want to do that. Mm. So sure. for someone who has had to go through divorce, staying was easy. Leaving was hard. Um, I'm sorry, I mixed it up. Staying was easy. Staying was easy because we could have just stayed in that same pattern that we were in with no change. That was easy. And I didn't have to worry about if one of my kids got sick, who was going to help me take care of them? Or if I got sick, who was going to take my take care of my kids if something happened to me? I didn't have those worries because that was easy. Leaving was hard because now I have to create this world and this life to protect myself and to protect my children with no fallback plan and nobody to pick me up if I fall down. Nobody to hold my hand when I'm afraid because I have to hold everybody else's hand. So leaving, that was hard. Staying, I could do that anytime because hmm. I'm loyal by default. So, well, yeah, all right. we just need to take the table of collection right now because that was some preach words, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let the church say, Amen. The Amen right. or Omar. <laughs> So I guess the takeaway for the day is entanglement. Mind your own business. Stop marriage is hard. Business. Okay, and stop marriage being nasty. <laughs> stop being nasty. Okay, for all of our subscribers, we hope that this um, episode was an entertaining one. Again, we do not normally, this is not a platform for us to talk about celebrities. We, there's enough blogs and blogs and, and gossipers. They ain't what we normally do. However, this was just popping up everywhere. And, you know, I, we would be remiss if we didn't get in on this entanglement stuff, okay? Um, but as normal, we would love, love, love for you guys to watch this episode. We would love for you to like it. We want you to share it. We want you to comment. Don't forget anything, Danya. I don't know, girl. Subscribe. <laughs> support us. Support three black sisters from Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Listen, we need y'all help. What I what I will say is that I know this on my social media on Facebook. I could post some random something. I get a gazillion people liking or posting on some stupid. I'm gonna need y'all to like and post these videos that we putting up on here. Okay, we working real hard here. We try to bring some funnies to you. Help a sister out, y'all. Right? We just support us. Okay, support us. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Until next time, you guys. Thank you so much. Peace and hair grease. <laughs>